Brooklyn Independent Television. Welcome to Health Beat Brooklyn on Brooklyn Independent Television. I'm Dr. Monica Sweeney. No one can tell what medicine will look like in 50 or 100 years. But if you know where to go, you can get an idea of some of the positive changes that are coming. One focal point for innovation is right here in Brooklyn at SUNY Downstate's Biotech Incubator. So these are the steps that we're going to do. Um, do you have all the different reagents ready? Yeah. And so you have all your pipettes, the plates are ready. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is take our compound that we um, are going to examine mm -hmm. and make the following dilutions. We're going to be using 10 micromoles. Innovamine Biotherapeutics is a biotech startup. We were founded in 2010 and we develop small molecule drugs that will be targeting very important diseases such as various cancers as well as autoimmune diseases including type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, amongst others. Uh, autoimmune diseases are a class of diseases where the body, the immune system of the body starts to attack itself for unknown reasons and this affects many, many people in the worldwide population but there are very few drugs that currently target these diseases. We have made it our mission to get into this disease area and develop medicines that will help humanity. Biotechnology is expected to be a major source of economic growth in the 21st century. And New York has these wonderful research institutions, but they didn't have a place to commercialize these innovative ideas. And there was a tremendous need to have space to be able to do it. And so Downstate, realizing this need, started to build an incubator for these little baby companies and then realizing that once these companies became successful and were ready to outgrow the incubator, they needed another place to go. So we developed Biobat at the Brooklyn Army Terminal so they can expand to like 100,000 square feet. So what's that you have in your hand? Uh, this is the, the buffer we're going to use for our compound. Okay. So a biotech startup, or many different startups, begin with an idea from a single individual or a small group of scientists which have very limited funding or resources to perform experiments. Having or being able to access a bioincubator program such as the one here at um, SUNY Downstate allows us to be small without having to spend capital on equipment that can cost millions of dollars. So the incubator offers support by First, giving them a facility in which you can do scientific research. To do that scientific research, you have to have very specialized HVAC systems with lots of air changes and a very specialized environment. So, and it's very expensive to build that environment. So we provide that. And so then they can start and be little, and then they can use resources at Downstate. They can work with our scientists and our clinicians because eventually when you become very successful in what you're trying to do, you're going to want to do clinical trials and they can work with physicians to be able to do that. Uh, all I'm doing right now is just connecting the interface cable. In a clinical setting, all I do is I just bring a strap that, that we use once so that we could connect this to the patient's arm. Biosignal is a medical device developer. Uh, we actually incorporate science that's being generated at places like SUNY Downstate and basically incorporating the results of that research into commercialization opportunities. Um, our work is based on the research done by Dr. Andre Fenton, who is a renowned neuroscientist. He does memory studies in rats, um, for which he developed small wireless technology that allows him to measure the brain activity in these animals without interfering with their behavior patterns. And that technology found its way into human applications in micro EEG. Those are the EEG signals I'm looking at. And this is how we could capture any type of abnormal activity. The incubator has been a huge help for us as a startup, especially as a medical device startup. Um, everything is really expensive. Everything takes a very long time to develop. Regulatory processes are very complex and they're very demanding at the same time. And so to have an opportunity to have this kind of supportive environment, because it's not just the location, it's the proximity to the academia and the hospital environments that we needed so badly for our clinical trials and, uh, 
and to essentially develop our work to the point that it's, it's gotten to. Given our small beginning from one bench in this bioincubator within the last year, our experiments have been quite successful and have led to additional funding, which have allowed us to expand in this room. So we're able to occupy the one entire room in the bioincubator and have allowed us to hire additional employees as well as take on college students from CUNY Hunter that have now been fully employed by the company. And so without SUNY Downstate um, Bioincubator, none of this would have been possible. Okay. Okay. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.